I often get into trouble when I talk about exercise and weight management. Here's the reasons why. I begin with the caveat that exercise, I'm quite convinced, is the strongest determinant of someone's quality of life and health long into the future. There is no behavior other than quitting smoking that is more likely to confer health and quality of life long into the future. The problem is, in weight management, that we see no association between exercise levels and weight loss. Not to mean that exercise isn't wonderful to be part of a weight management effort and that the patient will not confer benefit from exercise. What the evidence suggests is that the exercise that they do and the calories that they burn will not confer an advantage in weight loss. It turns out to be a very ineffective, inefficient method of losing weight. What about the person who says, no way, Dr. Macklin, when I exercise, that's how I lose weight. So what are they experiencing? Dr. Arya Sharma, a colleague of mine, would say it this way. His best guess, it's mine as well, is that when we exercise at a high level, it can change our appetite system and our desire and drive to foods in our favor. And that if someone is exercising and losing weight, it's likely that it's the effect of exercise dampening their appetite system, making it such that they're taking in less calories, and it's that they are taking in less calories that's contributing to their weight loss.